Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you my quick first impression on the new character Seatween, and just in case I made the title or thumbnail really dramatic, let me just say right away, I can't possibly tell you at this point if she is bad or not, obviously I just pulled her like an hour ago when I recorded this, so I didn't have the time to test her yet properly. I just wanted to talk about some design choices about her skill kit, because after reading them I feel like there's some lost opportunity to make her a little bit more interactive or interesting, but in general I think as she is right now she will probably work just fine. So let me get into it. First of all, I think her elemental skill is fine, it's just healing a little bit of damage, then the burst skill is quite reasonable amount of damage, and then the main thing about this character is obviously her first passive skill, which increases your team's elemental skill damage while the other characters are off field. And the biggest offender is because most characters have two combat related passive skills. I don't think that's necessarily true for Siege Queen if you want to be a little bit hyperbolic, because I'm not super excited about 30% extra healing if you have a lot of Bond of Life on your team. So this is pretty much irrelevant. I think they just try to force some Bond of Life synergy on her, which is, like I said, kind of irrelevant because this isn't super exciting. And then the other thing is, you would think that her normal attacks would be kind of interesting too, because uh, you would think that if your character provides like damage bonus to your other characters while they are off field, you would think that Siege Queen is meant to be like a filler that can like fill some field time. But for this, she would need to like have her normal attack to do anything, but nothing here has HP scaling. So the problem is that nothing here will deal damage if you just build a lot of HP on Siege Queen, and you want to build a lot of HP on Siege Queen because this passive skill scales off her HP. So this is the kind of dilemma here. And I think it would have been fair because they put a lot of effort into her normal attacks, and while you charge her charge attacks, it even shoots this little, these little hearts. So if you use them, I think it's fair to kind of assume that you do something relevant and not something that literally does nothing. So I think that's the problem, and if you want to hear my suggestion to, to a solution for this, I think they needed to change this passive skill to something better. Um, for example, I would have seen her kind of similar to like a character like Raiden, that you just use your character's elemental skills or something, then they do something while they're off field, and then you switch to Siege Queen, and she fills a little bit of field time. And to do this, I feel like after her burst skill, this passive skill should have empowered her normal attacks. For example, after you press the burst skill, the next like seven instances of her normal attacks or her like mini bubbles that she shoots should be hydro infused and deal like 10% of Siege Queen's max HP and extra damage or something like this, something along those lines. So that's my suggestion. That would have been more interesting. Of course, we probably will never see something like this because historically after they release characters, they probably will never touch their skill kits again. Anyway, let me know what you think about this, and next I will probably upload some gameplay of her, so stay tuned for that, until then have fun and bye bye.